Hello, my name is Dr. Sydney Butts, and I'm honored to be the guest editor of the special issue of Facial Plastic Surgery on Facial Soft Tissue Injury and Healing. Facial soft tissue injuries are the facial plastic surgeon's emergency middle of the night call. In contrast to the majority of patients we treat for whom we schedule elective surgery after getting to know them over the course of office visits and consultations, a patient with facial trauma is someone we encounter for the first time and must develop timely treatment plans. We must explain to the patient and family what may be the sad news of extensive facial injuries that may require numerous procedures and leave the patient with short or long-term disability. The surgeon is called upon to bring not only their diagnostic and surgical skills to these injuries, but also their skills of communication to display empathy and compassion for patients in the midst of physical and emotional trauma. This special issue of facial plastic surgery on facial soft tissue injury and healing will approach this topic in an evidence-based fashion, relying first on current high-level evidence. The cases in each article will reflect best practices showing the combination of surgeon experience and best evidence. Articles will also address the patient-centered issues that must factor into the final treatment decisions. While the concept of shared decision-making is conceptualized differently in an acute trauma situation compared to the elective surgery realm, it is an important approach to include in the informed consent discussion and setting of patient expectations. This issue will address soft tissue injuries by facial region. We begin with the fundamentals of wound healing and wound healing problems, and then move to injury mechanisms. We took a broad view of mechanisms that reflect current challenges we face in medicine, which have an impact on the type of cases we encounter. For example, facial soft tissue losses can result from aggressive or virulent infections. Necrotizing fasciitis, often caused by gram-positive or polymicrobial infections in immunocompromised patients, is a topic we thought was important to address as the concerning realities of multi-drug resistant bacterial infections are ever present. Globally, the burden of malnutrition and poverty and poor health status are known risk factors for another type of soft tissue destructive entity called NOMA, which will be discussed together with necrotizing fasciitis. Many in the United States may not be familiar with NOMA as it is often seen in poor countries with poor health resources. But it is an important entity to review, especially given the global health outreach that many surgeons perform. In addition to the regional approach of our articles in this issue, we are also addressing several special topics, including pediatric facial trauma and massive soft tissue losses that can result in facial allotransplantation. Dangers that result in facial trauma are unfortunately all around us. Several public health initiatives to reduce the risk of trauma have been very successful. One only needs to think about mandatory seatbelt use, child car seats, and helmet requirements for motorcyclists to understand how many safety measures are now accepted parts of everyday life. Framing the causes of trauma as public health problems has put surgeons, emergency room physicians, and critical care physicians at the forefront of discussions about interpersonal violence and the use of weapons which have devastating tissue effects. In light of the ongoing conflicts abroad, along with mass shootings at schools and other public venues, we dedicated an article to ballistics injuries, which are unfortunately encountered too frequently and must be understood in terms of the unique damage bullets and missiles caused to tissues of the face. I wanna express my deep gratitude to the authors of the articles in this issue of facial plastic surgery whose work will add greatly to the reader's understanding and approaches to the management of facial soft tissue injuries. And would also like to acknowledge the guidance and leadership of the Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Anthony Sclafani. Thank you for your attention.